Today I am going to show you how to work a short row heel on a Christmas stocking. These heels are both worked using German short rows and here's how we do it. We begin, we're going to use our contrasting color red. We're going to begin at the beginning of the round and we'll knit two stitches. We'll slip the last stitch from the right needle to the left and we'll turn our work. We'll lift the, that stitch by the yarn tail up and over the right needle and that forms a double stitch. Then we're going to purl back to the beginning of the round, only one stitch, and we're going to purl two stitches after the beginning of the round to work our second German short row. We will turn our work, bring our yarn to the front, slip one stitch back to the um, right hand needle and lift that stitch up and over the needle. Now we'll knit back the other direction and we're going to knit two stitches past the previous German short row. You can see that short row there, it's a double stitch. We're going to knit that as if it's one stitch. And then we'll go two further stitches. Turn our work. Slip from the left needle to the right needle and pull that stitch up and over. Then we'll need to bring our yarn back to the front and purl back the other direction. We're to the beginning of the round and again when we reach the double stitch, we'll work it together as if it's one stitch. And then we're going to purl two stitches beyond that. Turn our work, bring our yarn to the front, slip that stitch from the left needle to the right needle and then pull it up and over. Our yarn is already in the back and we're knitting so we don't need to move anything. We're going to continue to go back and forth like this, working two additional stitches. Um, after the German short row stitch, which I'm working together as one stitch, the double stitch, we'll continue to work two more stitches until we get to 18 stitches worked on either side of the beginning of the round marker. I'm turning, slipping, pull it up and over, bring the yarn to the front, and purl back the other direction. to the double stitch. It looks a little funny. We work it together as one. Curl two more stitches. Turn our work. Bring the yarn to the front. Slip that stitch to the right needle and pull it up and over. And go back the other direction. Now we're to the point where we've worked our German short rows all the way till we've got 18 stitches worked on either side at the beginning of the round marker. Now we're going to start working our German short rows two stitches before the last one worked. So we are heading down towards this last stitch, which was the last German short row. And we're not going to get all the way to this one. We're going to stop right here at the second stitch before that. And we'll work our German short row then. Now this time we will not be working any of the double stitches because we don't aren't working past them. So we'll slip this to the other side to the left needle. Come around lift it up and over. After we've got all these worked, we'll have all these double stitches. And so when we start working in the green again, 
we'll knit those together as one. We'll purl back to the other side, and each time you work two stitches less until you get to two stitches on either side of the marker, and that's when you'll start with your contrasting color again. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.